Well, they call them environmental influencers. Just like those on social media, these people are meant to change the minds of others about recycling. It's estimated that Coloradans produce more than 9 million tons of waste a year. Only 12% of it actually gets recycled. Live in Denver, type schools challenge, and Sean, the goal is to get students involved even before they can vote. Well, Karen, they're thinking that they can certainly have their voices heard even if they can't vote. And this is the issue we're talking about. Products like this, a plastic water bottle, plastic forks and spoons, as well as plastic straws, all items you can only use once, but you can easily solve this issue by using products like this, a water bottle that you can keep filling up, forks and spoons you bring from home, or a metal straw. It's everywhere in our day-to-day -day lives, and it can be really hard to cut these things down, but it's very important to do it, especially right now. Alexandra Hamans wants to reduce our impact on the environment. She's encouraging her fellow students at Kent Denver School to make slight changes in how they eat and drink each day. We've grown to rely on just using something once for the pure convenience of it. Her school is one of the first in the country to join the No to Plastic Challenge. We say no to single-use plastic bottles. We say no plastic cutlery. Students and community members taking the pledge to reduce single-use plastics in their lives. We don't really think about where it's going to go or what it's going to impact later on. Schools nationwide will be tracked by pledges and then calculate the number of plastic items they can eliminate. It's a global crisis that needs our immediate attention. Teachers say this has been a focus for Heyman since freshman year. So it's no surprise she launched the challenge at their school this week. I think it's incredibly inspiring. Um, I think in our world world we need a lot of leadership and she hopes other students are motivated to do the same change doesn't have to come from policymakers at first it can come from people like you and I saying no to single-use plastics so any student at any school can make the pledge and then encourage others in their community to do the same you can also track how your school competes with other schools across the country we've got all that information posted on cbsdenver.com Reporting live tonight, Sean Chitness, covering Colorado First.